<laughs> I know that's gonna get cut. When New Yorkers talk about the Middle East, it's usually not a laughing matter. But Egyptian comedian Ahmed Ahmed Hello, Doha. and his team of Middle Eastern comedians are on a mission to change all that. No, I am committed to the cause, but I have one question. <laughs> the Doha Tribeca Film Festival hosted a comedy night to show New Yorkers something they didn't know about Arabs. I never knew these people laughed. Yeah, because you've never you never see Middle Easterners or Muslims laughing in American film and tell maybe like an evil like whoa whoa. And to celebrate Ahmed's debut documentary, just like us. I hate flying because my name's on like nine lists. Which premiered at this year's Tribeca Film Festival. I don't know why it's about a bunch of Arabs. <laughs> I was browsing the internet yesterday looking for a good movie and I like to laugh, so I think this will accomplish the goal. Hey, I need a good laugh too tonight, so I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> but I think it'll be interesting to see what people in crowds from Doha or whatnot think are hilarious based on what we think is funny. So I'll be curious to see what, what gets the big laughs in there. Co-hosted by DTFF. One of the great things about this film is it tells a very important narrative and that is that Arabs are really funny. You're like, should we say alaikum salam? I'm drinking Jack Daniels. The film takes us on a hysterical journey with Ahmed and a group of Middle Eastern comedians. The way I drive, I'm probably going to die in Saudi. <laughs> as they bring their bold brand of comedy to the Middle East. You constantly see the Arab guy, the Muslim guy, committing crimes toward America or burning the American flag. I think as an Arab American uh, actor, comedian, and, and, and now, you know, filmmaker, I, I was just really kind of sick and tired of watching all this stuff. <laughs> well, comedy plays a big part in bringing cultures together because it's a, like we say in the movie, it's a cross-cultural dialogue, it's a handshake. The more you mock yourself in front of people, the less that you get actually criticized and the more that they know you. The group tour from the UAE you doing, to Beirut to Saudi Arabia. But right now it's become more free and people start to speak loudly. And finally to New York. The journey continues. Where the film attracted some new admirers. Come a long way, baby. Ouch, I thought he did a great job on that. This movie is absolutely fabulous. When there's a message behind it, that's when laughter really is a very, very powerful tool. You know, having a sense of humor is always a good thing. It's I've, I've always tried to laugh and, you know, find ways to laugh at yourself as well. And, and I, I do believe that uh, laughter uh, brings people closer together. From the big screen to the live stage, oh, so funny. the laughs continue. The key is, my Arab brothers, you got to throw in random good words to put people at ease. Just in the middle of your conversation, just as you're walking down the aisle, just be like, Strawberry! And brought a taste of the Middle East back to the West. Do you think uh, comedy can bring cultures closer together? Uh, yeah, I think if they, uh, if they can communicate in the languages that are, the, and, uh, and the sensibilities that they uh, understand. I think the Doha, Tribeca and Tribeca, this kind of cross-cultural cultural feeding and, and sharing of culture will ultimately really bring about well peace. I really believe that. I don't think there's anything that we have done as a festival in nine years that's more important and sends a message to the world than our partnership with Doha. It was uh, very, very funny. There's uh, so many comics and everyone has such a different style and I really enjoyed it. We look forward to seeing you in Doha.